To create message box with yes and no buttons, type msg box. In here, type your message. A second parameter, you need to select pp, yes, no. If you want, you can change the title as well. To do this, type comma, and in here, type your title. If you want, you can add icon to your message box. We've got table with icons. There are four icons you can have. Critical message icon, warning query icon, warning message icon, and information message icon. Let's select, for example, critical message icon. So we need to select VB critical. After VB yes no, type plus and select VB critical. You can also set default button. We've got two buttons, yes and no. If we want to set yes as default button, we need to type plus and select VB default button one. If we want to set no to be default button, we need to select VB default button two. Let's select VB default button one. Usually you need to check which button has been clicked, which button has been selected. To do this, use the following code. We've got two buttons, yes, no. In here, we've got table with response codes. There are two values that message box can return. It can return yes, which is VBS constant, value six, or VB no can be returned, which is value seven. In here, we're checking I response variable if it's yes or no. If user selected yes, we want show message yes selected. If user click no, we want show message no selected. Let's save it and let's test it. Now we've got error message. We haven't got answer. Brilliant. Just try again. We've got test message with two buttons. Yes, no. Another message we've got icon and we change title to be test title. And our third message, uh, we've got uh, a default button defined. And our final message, if we click yes, we should see message saying yes, selected. If we click no, we should receive message no selected. Let's try no, and we've got no selected.